Welcome back to Paul Mister's channel. Today I'm gonna take you through a detailed introduction of the Paul Sunsmart 5.5 kWh solar inverter. We will drive into these outstanding features and powerful function, giving you a better understanding of the practical value behind this amazing product. Whether you are unsure about specific type of the inverter you need or just looking for some guidance, this video will definitely help you gain clarity on your inverter requirements. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the world of solar inverters together. By the end of this video, you will equipped with the knowledge to make an information decision when choosing a solar inverter. First and foremost, let's talk about this all-in-one solar inverter, which combines solar charging, AC power charging, and pure sideway inverter output into one machine. This means you don't have to deal with the complex configuration when setting up your solar energy system. It's all taken care of. With an impressive AC output of 5.5 kW, this inverter can handle a maximum PV area configuration of 6000 Watt. Ensure efficient and stable power delivery. The MPV tracking range spans from 120 V to 450 V, while the maximum charging current reaches 100 Amperes. This general input and output limit combined with the wide PV tracking range make it an ideal choice for most residential solar setups. But that's not all. The housing of this inverter is designed with a built-in soldering and have a waterproof junction box, providing excellent protection against elements. Plus, the cooling fan is positioned externally, further enhancing the inverter's selling capabilities. With an impressive IP65 waterproof and dustproof rating, it can operate flawlessly in environments with humidity ranging from 0 to 100%. This expands its range of applications and ensures reliable performance no matter the conditions. In summary, the Pulsar Smart 5.5 kW all-in-one solar inverter is a versatile and powerful solution that simplifies system setup, delivers efficient power output, and boasts excellent durability. It's a perfect choice for residential solar energy systems, providing reliable and hassle-free operation while maximizing energy generation from your PV area. The Pulse on Smart 5.5 kW all-in-one solar inverter offers incredible flexibility with its three output modes and four charging modes, giving you the ability of customizing the power priority for both output and charging according to your specific needs. This ensures optimal utilization of solar power based on your local conditions. But the real game charger is the power priority settings. Specifically, the time basic charging and discharging program unique to the SunSmart 5.5 kW model. With setting 40 to 53, you can schedule when the battery charges and discharges, allowing you to adapt to the varying electricity consumption patterns, local pricing politics, and battery status. This smart strategy lets you store existing energy when it's planned for and released it's during high demand or high priced periods, perfectly aligning with your system's power requirements. By maximizing use of solar resource and improved energy efficiency, this time basic strategy enables sustainable and cost effective energy management. In a nutshell, the Pulse on Smart 5.5 kW solar inverter empowers you to make the most of your solar energy system by offering the customizable power priorities and a unique time basic charging and discharging program. 
It's a smart and efficient solution that optimizing the energy utilization, reduce cost and enhance your overall system management capability. In the following part of the video, I will demonstrate the complete configuration process of the time basic charging and discharging function of the Poson Smart 5.5 kW, providing you with a more intuitive understanding of the basic concept of this charging and discharging management system. Now this is the main page after you switch on your inverter. Now let's enter the setting interface and switch to the setting 40. The setting 40 indicates the start time of the first charging period. Why setting 41 represents its end time? Similarity, setting 42 and 43 correspond to the start time and end time of the second charging period, and this pattern continue for subsequent charging periods. For instance, setting 44 and 45 pertain to the third charging period. Likewise, the setting 47 and 48 demote the start and end time of the first discharge period, with a total of the three discharge periods available. Setting 49 and 50 apply to the second discharge period. Why setting 51 and 52 are designated for the third discharging period? In addition to configure the time period for charging and discharging, the main setup program for the time of use charging and discharging function also includes setting 46 and 53 as the enable or disable switch for this function. Setting 46 serves as the switch for enabling the time of use charging function. Selecting ENA indicates that the time of use charging program is activated and our power priority setting in setting 1 will automatically switch to BT1ST, prioritizing battery power to supply the load. The setting 53 is also enabled. The output power priority setting in setting 1 will automatically switch to AC1ST, prioritizing AC power to supply the load. When item setting 46 or 53 is enabled, even if we select PV1ST in setting 1, the system will override settings in setting 1 when the time of use function is enabled. In this case, the setting in item 1 cannot be modified and will default to BT1ST for charging time period or AC1ST for discharging time period. Now, when the time of use charging and discharging function are enabled, how does the inverter prioritize this operation and how can we make use of it? Please continue watching for more information. The time of use charging and discharging function is mainly used to deal with the price difference of the electricity during different periods. The settings primarily aim to utilize the utility power for charging during low price periods and avoid use utility power during high price periods. When the low demand is high and instead prioritize battery power for discharging. In summary, the goal of time of use charging and discharging function is to minimize the cost of purchasing utility power during different peak and off-peak price periods. This includes storing power in the battery as much as possible during low price period and directly supplying power to the low. Now let's simulate the operation to better understand the logic of this power utilization. First, we set the output power priority setting 1 to PV1ST. To demonstrate automatically switching effect when setting 46 and 53 are enabled. 
Then we keep the charging power priority in setting 6 in this default state of hybrid mode. Next, we set inverter time in setting 55 to match the current time. Now let's demonstrate the use of time of use charging function. First, we set the charging time period. And enable the time of use charging function. Which automatically switch the output power priority in setting 1 to BT1ST. Now back to the main page. The current time is still before the setting charging time period. Here I will connect the PB input along with the utility and battery power to the inverter to briefly demonstrate the priority order of PB power in BT1 ST mode. You can see solar energy is prioritized to supply power to the low. Now let's turn off the solar energy input and switch to battery power. We now wait to enter the charging time period. As you can see, once the set charging time period is reached, the output priority switched from battery power to utility power, and the utility power charged the battery, maximizing the storage of power during low price period. Next, we set the time period for time of use discharging, and enable the time of use discharging function. This automatically switch the output power priority in setting 1 to AC1ST, which means utility power is prioritized to supply power to the low. Switch back to main screen. When not in the set discharge time period, the load powered by utility power. Once the discharging time period is reached, it automatically switched the battery power as the power source for the load. When the time of use charging function is enabled and the output power priority is switched to battery power, the load is powered by battery power before entering the setting charging time period. When the battery power is insufficient or when enter the setting time of use charging period, utility power is used to supply power to the load. Similarly, when the time of use discharging function is enabled, the load is powered by utility power before entering the setting discharge time period. And once the time of use discharging time period is reached, the load is powered by battery power. It's important to note that enable the time of use charging and discharging function does not affect the application logic of solar power. When solar power is available, the inverter will continue to maximize the use of clean energy source. Thanks for watching. Optimize your home solar system by time of use, charging and discharging of Poson Smart 5.5 all-in-one solar inverter. Save energy and money by maximizing the solar power, battery power and use utility power during off-peak hours. Like, comment and subscribe for more solar energy saving tips. Stay tuned for the next video.